Okay, and let's take a look at the integrals in this video. This is problem one. So you see composition here, e x cubed, these are being composed together. And you see more or less the derivative of x cubed here. It's not quite, it's off by a constant, but it's very close. And these things together suggest you substitution. If we do our U substitution, we have a two, we need a three. That's fine, we can get a three. We simply throw a one third in there as well. And these terms are not needed for the U substitution. And two and one third are both constants. So we can pull them out of the integral. and then do our substitution. These terms give us du e to the x cubed is e to the u. The antiderivative of e to the u is e to the u. We've got our constant of integration. And u is x cubed. Two thirds e to the x cubed plus c. For number two, we have this square root in the denominator. We've got one, we've got a minus, we've got a square. This looks a lot like the arc sign. For this to be the arc sign, what would we need? We need something squared here. That is, we have something squared, but we also have multiplication by two. And that we do not want. So the trick is to rewrite to this as a square and then perform u substitution. We can let u be the square root of two times x. Then du is the square root of two dx. Three, if we need a square root of two, that's a constant. So we can put it in as long as we divide by it as well.
This will give us a du. This will give us one minus u squared. The three and the square root of two aren't giving us anything, but they're constants. We can yank them out and we get one over the square root of one minus u squared du. This is the arc sine of u, this indefinite integral. And u, of course, is a dummy variable. It's the square root of two times x. Number three is a definite integral problem. But for now, never mind the limits of integration. Let's just think how we can integrate to this. Let's see. It pretty much has to be a U substitution. I mean, if you see, we have composition, we've got the square root of something and the derivative of this inside function more or less appears here. I say more or less because We do not have a negative two, but that's not a real issue. We have dealt with this before. If we want a negative two, we'll get the negative two but we'll also divide by negative two so that we don't change the integrand. This negative one half isn't doing anything. We'll just pull it out. Negative 2r dr turns into du. And this into the square root of u. And let's change the limits of integration. If r equals 0, u equals one. If r equals one, u equals zero. We're used to having a smaller number here and a larger number here, but this is fine. It's not hurting anything. We'll take the antiderivative. U to the one half gets bumped up to three halves. And we plug in one and zero, and we subtract. Plug zero in here, we get to zero. 
plug one in here, we get one. I mean, together with this two thirds. And I then make that, I mean, this zero isn't doing anything. The, this two and this two should cancel. This negative sign and this negative sign should cancel. I make that positive one third. Let's see, problem four. The integral of two X divided by one plus X to the fourth. Let's see. My first instinct would probably be a U substitution. Try letting U be one plus X to the fourth. That doesn't work though. If you let U be one plus X to the fourth, DU would require an X cubed. And we don't have that. We have an X to the first. Look at this a bit more and you maybe think it looks a little like an arc tangent. I mean, you've got division, you've got one plus, you don't have something squared, but you do have something raised to an even power. X to the fourth could be written as something squared. So let's try U substitution after all, but instead of letting U be the entire denominator, let's try letting U be X squared. DU we have, we don't even have to add a constant in. This is just the integral of one over one plus u squared du, which is the arc tangent of u plus our constant of integration. And u is a dummy variable. Of course, we write our final answer so that it doesn't have U in it. I think, yes, just one more integral to go. This is number five. The integral in number four and the integral in number five share some similarities to look at. I mean, they're both fractions. They're both addition. We've got these even powers. However, the arc tangent doesn't work here because of this too. What we tried and rejected here is precisely 
what we need here. So this is composition. That's why I thought to try this. And we do have the derivative of the inside function. More or less, we need a two, not a five. But we have dealt with that issue many times already by now. This five and this one half aren't contributing. Pull them out. This, I guess I got sloppy as I saw the finish line. This 2R dr gives us du. So we just have one over u squared du. Five halves. So this is u to the negative first, negative second, sorry. So we bump that power up. But we also divide by this new power. We get negative five halves times one over u plus a constant of integration. And that's it for the first five problems. Um, if you think you see a mistake or if you still have questions about how I did any of that, just uh, send me an email.